All right, hi guys, what's up? This is Eddie from the Headwaters Kayak Shop, and uh, today we rigged up a trolling motor and a fish finder Lowrance Elite 4 Chirp on the New Canoe Pursuit. So I'm gonna show you what we did today. All right, so first thing that we did was um, we installed this Mighty Mount on the front, and you can see there's a clear cut spot for it, and that's so that you can mount a GoPro in case you wanted to do like a panfish portrait. And then we went, go ahead, went ahead and went up and did two other Mighty Mounts right here one so that he could mount his transducer arm, and then the other one so that it matched and that he could possibly do another GoPro with from another angle. And then we're going to go ahead and take a look at the inside. So what I did was I ran the wire from the transducer arm up and in to this front hatch, and then I ran it back. And then as you can see, the battery is wedged right underneath here with a foam piece of bulkhead. So that's the battery box. And then all those cords come together right here with this wire cover. And it meets right here. And then I installed a 16 inch piece of gear track so that he could move his fish finder back and forth and it's out of the way of his feet. All right, so what comes standard on every new canoe model is um, the rod stagers and the paddle stagers. So you've got two sets of rod holders here and then you've got this rubber clip that kind of goes over them and holds them tightly. And then as you can see on this side, it also holds the paddle down and you can usually fit between eight and nine foot rods in this boat. All right, so another thing that the new canoe comes stock with is anchor, uh, anchor cleats on both insides. So what I did was I installed an anchor trolley and then I ran this clip on it so that when you unclip it, you can basically use this as a bow line. And it's pretty sturdy. All right, so what we did here with the trolling motor is uh, we installed a 30 pound thrust motor on it and then we cut the transom motor plate to size for the new canoe pursuit. And then we mounted this on there. I installed these um, these male and female wire ends, and it's got, as you can see, it's got that little clip in there. And so whenever that's plugged in, it's like that, and then you plug it in. And then this little piece goes right in there and locks it in. And then I ran the wires through the bottom, up to the front, where I've clipped in, I've added another male and female end right there. And then, we got a 145 amp uh, battery right here. All right, and then what we did with, um, so that he could use the trolling motor while he's sitting up in the seat, is we installed a, a tiller handle, a tiller extender handle, and as you can see, works like so. And then it's got these two brackets right here so that you can twist it. And then I've got a pull cord installed on this opposite side right here so that you can easily raise and lower that. And then maybe even go a little bit further. And then letting it down is just as easy. You just pull on that. So what I did here was I drilled a hole into this pinch clip right here, and then I tied a knot and made a loop. And then I wrapped that loop around and then clipped it. So that way, you know, you could just easily clip it onto this loop and pull the trolling motor up. And then whenever you want to remove the trolling motor, you don't always have to untie this knot and take it off. You can just unclip it, trolling motor pops off, this cord comes off, and then the same thing with the battery box up there. So we were really happy that we got the opportunity to do this install and um, if anybody has any questions or uh, any ideas feel free to give Headwaters Kayak Shop a call and pick our brains.